Hey there, everyone. It has been a while since my last video. Sorry about that. Uh, but I wanted to take care of this. I'd been asked a number of times about the I2P method. Uh, basically, the, the Invisible Internet Project. Um, it's part of the deep web. Um, it, this is not the Tor network. You don't access it using the Onion router. This is more peer-to-peer -peer based. And um, it seems from what I've, uh, there is, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on. It's not that, that widely used yet. Once you're connected to it, you can browse ClearNet and you can browse EEP sites. And the anonymity level is pretty great. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a very, it's very good on anonymity. So, you know, it seems to be populated with a lot of uh, geeks, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of tech site, technical sites, uh, tutorials and things of that nature. But I'm sure as their name gets around, it will get wider, you know, wider use. Uh, I kind of got a little bit in the news because a group of guys put up the new Silk Road marketplace on the I2P networks. And this is the new home of Silk Road, much more secure and blah, blah, blah. They're gone. They are now gone. I mean, it was more than likely a uh, scam site anyway. Anything that calls himself Silk Road, just stay away from. That's uh, good advice. Let's go ahead and get started here. GetI2P.net is where you want to go to download the software you need to run this. And when running this I2P, you need to be running Firefox browser. So make sure that you get a copy of Firefox and have that running. Because right now we need to do some configuration on Firefox. Uh, some specialized configuration after we actually download the uh, executable file for I2P. We're not going to install it just yet because we need to uh, customize Firefox's proxy settings first. But we are going to download now. Let's go ahead and download the file and save it. And then we'll go uh, to the settings of Firefox. Make sure you save the file somewhere that uh, you're able to retrieve it later. Okay, so uh, we've got that downloaded or downloading. There it is. Got that downloading and now we're going to go to the settings top right corner of firefox the three dashed bars click there to bring up the settings panel we need to download two extensions for firefox okay the first extension is going to be called quick js on the screen you see it type that in and press enter and we will see it come up on the top of the links as soon as we click on available add-ons. There's QuickJS. Let's go ahead and install it. It's a real quick, simple process. We've got to restart our browser, though, to enable it. Okay? So it'll restart the browser. And uh, from there, we're going to move on to Foxy Proxy. And to do that, we go to our search box. And we're going to type in Foxy Proxy. After we type in Foxy Proxy, you'll notice that it doesn't show up in our top uh, links here. We need to scroll down and click on Get All of Results. And then it'll be right there. Okay. Foxy Proxy, we're going to install into Firefox. And it downloads it first, and then it'll go to the Install screen next. And it'll be, uh, first it'll ask you for some money. <laughs> But we're not going to choose that option. We're going to choose the bottom green button to install the standard edition. Restart. Once it restarts, you'll see the little foxy head in the middle, right there in the middle. That's the foxy proxy link. Okay, what you are going to see is slightly different than what you see here because I have foxy proxy installed already. But I'm going to delete this and show you exactly what to type in. Okay, so this is what we do we click on add a new proxy. The proxy address is 127.0.0.1 with a port number of 4444. And that's all we need for this window. Next up is going to be the address uh, options here, which, and we're going to add a new, uh, we're going to add the new uh, instance here, and that's going to be called I2P, and with wildcards star I2P star. Okay, and away we go. Okay, we click OK and we're good to go on this. 
we can close this window. And we can install our I2P application, which is what we are going to do now after we close some stuff here. Let's close all this stuff. Uh, actually, well, you know what? The quick JS that quickly disables JavaScript. Okay, that's the thing we installed first. There it is right there. So we're going to go ahead and move that over to our toolbar so we can quickly disable JavaScript anytime we want. We'll pop that in there, and that's good. Let's close these windows before we install. Once it installs, it's going to bring up a uh, command panel, a command page, basically. And uh, that command page is where all the configuring is done and everything. Okay, let's go ahead and install our downloaded file, I2P. We'll run the program and run through the installation program, uh, progress. All right. The little window there, we, we're just going to click OK all the way through, except for the install as a Windows service option. We don't want that. We don't want to install as a Windows service. We just want to uh, go and click OK all the way through this installation process and let it do its thing. We'll see a... a once this is all done, we'll see it in the start menu, and that's where we're going to start it up. And here we go. Okay, um, it's going to finish installing. We'll go ahead and say OK and get out of this. Go to our start button to bring up our I2P, I2P uh, protocol here. If that pops up for you, don't pay attention to it. doesn't matter. It's because I had it already installed, I believe. So let's scroll it down and bring up our I2P window. Start menu items. We're going to click the one with the window on the bottom. And uh, that'll bring up a little DOS box window. That we don't really have to pay attention to. We can just let that run in the background, actually. Um, one quick note, if you have Chrome installed as your default browser, the management console will automatically pop up in Chrome. You need to move, you need to copy and paste that address into your new Firefox here. And this is what it looks like. This is the router console. Okay. And on the left side, you'll see that we're connected. The network is firewalled and we are good to go, brother. It, it may take a few minutes. I did pause the recordings during the connection process. Okay, so it'll take a few minutes to connect and fully connect to the ITP network. So realize that when you are doing this. Don't just stop it all. It takes a few minutes. I, I stopped the recording. I didn't have much conversation left in me to fill in the space, okay? <laughs> so here we are. We are in an ITP link. This is what uh, one of the pages looks like. So this is what I meant when I said geeky. Uh, it's a geeky network. A lot of geek stuff on here. You're not going to really find. You might find one or two dark markets on here. Um, that's not really what it's being used for. Subscribe. Like. And come back for new videos anytime, brothers. I'll see you next time.